southern province on Lerf Eskobekli Tepe, recognized as the world's oldest temple and point zero of history, is being promoted in Davos, where the 46th World Economic Forum is being held. The ice sculptures of Gobekli Tepe, which are on display next to the Davos Congress Center, have found fans in state ministers, academics, top officials of the world-leading companies, artists, sportsmen, and NGO representatives. Located in the Oransik neighborhood 18 kilometers away from the city of Anlerfa, Gobekli Tepe was first discovered in 1963 during surface surveys carried out by researchers from Istanbul and Chicago universities. Since 1995, the Anlerfa Museum and the German Archaeology Institute have been collaborating in the excavations. Among the findings were the Neolithic era T shaped stones with figures of wild animals, the circular and rectangle remains of the world's oldest temple in the 8 to 30 meters diameter category, many wild animal figures, obelisks, and human sculptures, including one measuring 65 centimeters. Many institutions and organizations, as well as the Culture and Tourism Ministry, have done various projects for the promotion of Gobekli Tepe, which is on the tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Gobekli Tepe Promotional Project, sponsored by the group, is one of those projects. A gala night and a dinner with the theme of protecting the cultural heritage were held in Davos within the scope of the project. Also, noteworthy names from a variety of fields discussed Gobekli Tepe. On Lerfa Governor Tsatin Kukuk said Gobekli Tepe changed the perception of history around the world. Kukuk said, Gobekli Tepe was a groundbreaking discovery. Also, a human-centered faith discovered for the first time because the T-shaped stones symbolize human. Excavations there continue. The Culture and Tourism Ministry recently made a 6.5 million euro tender. Gobek Litep will be covered with a big space tent to prevent the effects of bad weather conditions. The governor said promotions for Gobek Litep in Davos would contribute to Turkish tourism, adding, We have made a big mock up of Gobek Litep and display it in every fair. We will make billboards in March in Istanbul and Ankara. I believe that Gobek Litep will enter in the permanent list of UNESCO in 2017. The organization in Davos promoted Gobekli Tepe through the website. But according to Daily Radicals Omer Erbil, there has been a grievous mistake, according to the website, the ancient city dates back to 11,600 BC, placing the city 2,000 years before its time. Speaking to Erbil, archaeologist Neza Baskalen condemned the mistake, while saying mistakes like this are normal because promotions are made by advertisers, not scientists. Gobek Litep is known all around the world for its extraordinary archaeological findings. Professor Klaus Schmidt, who died in 2014, scientifically revealed that the history of the ancient site is categorized as a site of the pre-pottery Neolithic A period between 9600 and 7300 BC. This is why the date shown on the website, 11600 BC, is a serious mistake. More attention should have been paid for something like Gobek Litep, which is followed by the world, Baskalen said. The mistake on the website was corrected after Erbil's report was published on Radical.